Okay, somebody wanted to uh, see this up close and personal to see just what was on this board. Here's the uh, Cree board. This is a 13 watt Cree board out of a normal light, that one of the lights that replaced the incandescence. On the bottom of the board, there's just a couple of solder strips. The reason they're here is because I initially thought I would use headers for plugging everything into, and I'm using 1N4148s, so they have a small diameter lead on them, and they kept giving me trouble, so I just pulled them out and soldered them on the bottom. Here's the Taurus, two coils. Here's where they're tied together at the bottom. And then the output's taken from here and here. Now someone will ask, why do I have so many diodes? Well, the reason is the 4148 has a reverse peak voltage of around 100 volts. And this will develop with a 28 volt excision, <laughs> excitation to the magnets over 200 volts. So I put two of them in series and I've been waiting for one of them to blow, but so far I've been really lucky and haven't lost a diode. But I undoubtedly would have lost one if I wouldn't have put a couple of them in series. So basically that's it. I mean, <laughs> Couldn't be any simpler. Bridge rectifier, double diodes to help protect them. The Cree board it takes about 95 volts to light that Cree board. And this simple little torus here, uh, you can see that's fairly decent wire. It's not like thousands of turns or anything on there. So, anyway. That's it, and uh, what I'll do, oh, hey, while I'm here, why don't I go ahead and do it now? Let me turn the generator on, okay, and turn the thing up. And what I wanted to show, might as well do it in this video, is here's the single lead from the generator that I drive the magnet with. And I want to hook it up here and see if anything happens. And there's no, you can see there's no light from this Cree board at all. You can see they're dull and yellow like they should be. Now this is the same driving potential as what I use when it's operating. So anyway, we know that going to that side of the output doesn't work. Let's go to this side of the output, and again, you can see that those crees are not lit. So let's go to the last place. We'll go down here, where they, they're tied together, and again, there's nothing come out of those crees. Okay, so anyway, you cannot drive this unit, if you even hooked it direct, with 28 volts. And we just hooked it direct. Also, this Cree board has a metallic heat sink on the back. I find that kind of interesting uh, when I use a heat gun to measure it. We'll talk more about that later. later. So anyway, that's an up-close and personal look at it. And uh, there's still more to come.